Hello again everyone and welcome to another video on Gran Turismo Sport and today we have a fantastic race for you. Um, it's at Mount Panorama Circuit, otherwise known as Bathurst in Australia. We're starting P6 there on the grid in the Corvette Group 3 cars. So it's a Group 3 race, 9 laps and the medium tyres are required but the softs are also available. So there's going to be some strategy in this race. and. To be honest, that, that's probably why I love this race so much, is it's not just even a one-stop, you know, fixed strategy option. There are a number of different strategies you can do in this race. So you'll see in this one we've got um, some people doing two stops, some doing one stop, some starting on the mediums, some doing one lap on the mediums in the middle of the race and then going back onto the soft. So there's lots of different strategy options and it makes for some really entertaining and great racing. And as well as that, the track is very very tricky not very very twisty up on the mountain walls side by side if you make a mistake you're going to go straight into a wall and lose a chunk of time we've got a number of decent drivers in the lobby as well you can see there we've got Vitaly, Mario Sonic, uh, me Monaco Leonard, Basic Ollie of course and Mario so yeah some great drivers in the in the lobby as well and there's also some great close racing so let's get on with the action then so we're halfway around lap one, we're just coming up to the most difficult part of the track. You see Vitaly goes very, very wide, he's going to have some dirty tyres going through this section, which is not going to be easy for him. So down to second gear here, keep it right over to the right and then switch back to the left. And that's the most difficult part of the track done. Um, but my least favourite corner coming up then, it's a very awkward downhill left hand hairpin. And you kind of need to get on the power quite early because the straight is very, very long. So if you're not able to get on the power early, you can see there, I probably haven't been as good as I could have been then, um, but fortunately we're still in the slipstream. Um, yeah, you can lose a lot of time there. Um, it's a very, very long straight, and the penalty line is also, there's two penalty lines on this track. One is on this straight, and one is just after turn one. If you get the penalty on this straight, it can cost you a lot of time. As we can see up ahead then, there's a bit of action, and Mario Sonic ends up with a penalty. So we should be able to get past him. Um, at the start of lap two when he serves that penalty. You can see here coming across the line side by side up ahead. Very, very close, very, very tight. Unfortunately, we've got a bit of a gap to the car behind us as well, so we're not going to come under too much pressure from behind. You see AKM Mario then get a bit out wide on the rumble strip, and we're just going to stick very, very close. There we go, Mario Sonic serving his penalty, so we've got ahead of another car up to fifth place then. You can see four cars all side by side, very close. We're just going to stay out of it going into turn two here. We don't want to ruin our race before it's even begun. And it's always nice to be at the back of a train like this, because you can kind of just sit on the back of them, not worry too much about the car behind if you've got a bit big enough of a gap, and just wait for some mistakes to occur up ahead and take advantage when you can. So heading up the mountain then, and we want to take this section as flat as possible. We're going to have a slight lift with this left-hander just to get the nose turned in. Onto full throttle, avoiding the wall. Little lift as we go over the crest just to balance the car. And then full throttle again as we see AK Mario just heading into the wall there, but manages to get away with it. Again, you want to go in here a lot slower than you think you need to. And again, on the power as early as we can, short shifting up to third gear there. And you'll notice in the Corvette, um, also short shifting for a lot of the lap. Um, because of the BOP, this car, you get the best acceleration if you short shift about two thirds of the way um, of the red counter. That's just the way to, to drive it. It's a bit weird, but um, once you get used to it, it's definitely the fastest way. So. In the slipstream then, we see Vitaly going from the inside, making the move on Mario. We're going to stick to the outside, see if we can get a good exit. We do get a good exit, but we're just going to have to pull out a little bit there because there's nowhere for us to go. Um, the track sort of narrows, um, narrows quite a lot there. And oh, as we see from behind, Mario Sonic going a bit late on the brakes, but fortunately there's no contact there. And yeah, this, this track is very, very intense track to race on. It's, it's similar to Nürburgring, um, the North Side, when, when you're driving it, because you just have to be focused 100% of the time, especially on the mountain with the walls, the tight twisty section. You've just be con you've got to be constantly balancing the throttle. It's very similar to some of the twisty sections of the Nürburgring, where um, if you just take a bit too much speed into a corner, you end up 
in all kinds of trouble. And you see Vitali goes for the move. Mario has to stick to the outside and we get the move done as well. So two places gained then, up to fourth place in the race. And who have we got ahead? So I think Leonard's, Leonard's started to uh, get a bit of a lead up ahead. Then it's basically, then we've got Vitali. So um, Ollie's also got a bit of a gap to Vitali. And you can see the race is starting to open out a little bit now. So we're going to have to increase the pace a little bit if we can. You can see we have Mario behind us in the Nissan GTR, which is very quick on this part of the circuit. And he's very, very close to us now. Uh, just a tenth of a second back as we go down the very tricky, twisty section. It's important when you've got a car close behind that you don't bottle it through here. Very easy to take too much speed in when you're feeling the pressure from the car behind. But we get round there okay. We get a decent exit onto the main straight. The Corvette is faster than the Nissan on the straight. But we're just outside the slipstream range of Vitali in front. Although towards the end of the state straight here, we're, we're just going to pick it up again. But you can see Mario behind in the mirror is much, much closer. So we're going to stick to the inside of the track, force him to go around the outside. He breaks very late, gets the car turned in. I give him room on the exit and he makes that move done. Very, very great move from Mario there. But he's picked up a three second penalty. So. Um, yeah, unfortunately the Gran Turismo penalty system not working once again. Um, it's such a shame because that was some absolutely fantastic racing. Really, really great ballsy move around the outside from Mario. And yeah, he, he did nothing to, to get a, to deserve a three second penalty there. So um, yeah, although he, it means I get that position back, I'm very, very disappointed that he's out of the race now really. Um, when when he didn't deserve it. So having to defend the inside here then um, due to Mario Sonic being very, very close. And I don't think he's going to try and move going up the hill. Very, very dangerous place to, to attempt any moves. But he is very, very close. So don't want to hit the wall or anything going through the mountain section because that will scrub our speed off and he'll just be able to bruise past. So again, try to deal with the pressure of a car close behind as well as the tight walls, the twisty section. And you can see up ahead, Vitaly has caught right up to basic Oli now and putting, putting him under a lot of pressure. So if they start battling, it should give us a chance to move up onto the back of them and get involved as well. And we get a very good drive through the, uh, the start of the downhill section then. And again, trying to keep it nice and slow, turning it in. You kind of have to turn in a little bit earlier than you think you need to there because of the camber in the road. And just use that camber to help you around the corner. And onto the straight then. And Mario Sonic behind us does have a slipstream, but he's six and a half tenths back. So we shouldn't be under too much pressure going into the chicane. As up ahead, Vitaly and Ollie are getting side by side touching into each other and Ollie has fallen behind Vitaly but Vitaly goes wide and again once again they're side by side and Ollie makes the move gets the move done again and very late they both dive into the pit lane so lap four is a little bit early to go into the pits um, for a one stop so it looks like they will be on a two stop strategy um, both starting on the soft tyres of course and we're going to carry on start lap five and look to pit on the end of this lap. So you can see Leonard has also pitted and put the soft tyres on again. Um, and he has come out of the pits two and a half seconds ahead of us. So um, we're obviously on the old soft, so he's gonna pull away quite a lot on this lap. And then we're gonna pit at the end of the lap for the medium tyres and just gonna go on the one stop strategy. Um, Leonard will obviously have to do another stop later in the race. We'll probably be on lap eight end of lap eight and just do one lap on the medium tires and i think ollie and vitali i'm not sure what tires they chose in their pit stop so they are probably going to be either doing the same as leonard and pitting again on lap eight to take the medium tires or they put the mediums on and possibly running one lap now and then we'll do another four laps on the soft tires and pit at the end of this lap so we'll have to wait and see until the end of the lap. Skipping forwards towards the end of the lap then, and we can see we've got around a second gap to Mario Sonic behind, who also hasn't pitted yet, so he's probably going to follow me into the pits on this lap. And it's a very, very 
tricky pit entry. So if you go in too fast, you just end up on the grass and it's going to be very, very difficult to get back into the pits. You've also got to avoid the wall because you can get a penalty if you brush that wall on the way in as well. But we get it nice and tidy through the pit entry. And let's see where we come out. And we can see basic Collie is also pitted behind. So he was on the medium tyres and he's going to go back onto the soft. So he might be a threat towards the end of the race. And we've come out side by side with the Austrian driver there and he's going to get the move done on us so not too sure what strategy he's on here um he wasn't involved too much at the start of the race so i'm hoping he's not already on the medium tires because that is going to um obviously affect us and we've lost the position there so we just need to try and stick with him the best we can and maybe look to do a move on him towards the end but we can see here as we're going up the hill Although I am on the cold tyres, he's getting much better traction and much better drive. So I'm starting to think he might already be on the uh, he might be on the soft tyres. So hopefully he hasn't already used the mediums and pitted for the soft tyres because then we're definitely going to be in trouble. We'll, we'll not be able to stick with him, not be able to catch him up. But hopefully what he's done is started on the softs, gone back onto the softs, and he'll have to pit again. So. Um, the pit lane loss here is around about four seconds, I think. It's a very, very short pit lane loss, um, which is a bit odd. But if we can stay within that four second range and he does have a pit stop to do, then we should be able to jump him um, during that pit stop. Okay, so we're going to jump forwards again a little bit here onto the beginning of lap seven. And you'll see the gap is now 1.6 to the car ahead and 0.7 to Mario behind. So. We're going to have to make sure we keep it nice and tidy. We don't want to let Mario um, manage to get into our slipstream range because once you're in the slipstream on that long back straight, it, it is quite easy to overtake if the car in front doesn't or isn't following close behind anyone. But as we come up the hill then, uh, look towards the delta on the left and we can see we've gained a chunk of time over Mario. So um, I imagine he either had a, a bit of oversteer coming out of the... Uh, the sharp turn before the, the start of the hill or he may be clipped the wall there um, so yeah fortunately we've gained a bit of gap now that gives us a little bit of breathing space as we go through the very tricky section but again it's spot on that time very very satisfying through there when you get it right and again just making sure you're braking in the straight line slowing it down get it turned in and then on the power as quick as possible remember to short shift up to third for the best acceleration and then onto the back straight so the gap up to one and a half seconds now behind so definitely a nice amount of breathing room there and up ahead we're 2.1 behind so um yeah car in front must definitely be on the soft tires because of the the pacey setting and we just need to hope that he still needs the pit for the mediums but at this point in the race i've got no idea what strategy on so he, he was on so it's just a case of praying really and just try to stay within that four second range um, in order to make sure we overtake him if he does pit. As we cross the line then to set our fastest lap of the race weirdly on the medium tyres. So that just goes to show how much time we lost at the start of the race with the, uh, the battles and, and overtaking and following in the, uh, in the bunch there. Really the, the fastest laps we're doing. Um, if we're starting on the softs, should be sort of low two minute oh one so um yeah i think our best lap in the first stint was a two oh two point three so probably about a second slower than than what we would be doing in clear air and you can see then behind um there's been a change of position mario akm mario has got past the other mario mario sonic and the gap is two seconds so i believe akm mario may be on the soft tires so he's going to start catching us as we head into the final lap of this race. But um, yeah, two seconds should be more than enough time to be able to keep the lead. So shouldn't be too much of an issue. We just need to make sure we don't make any mistakes, especially down here through the tricky part of the track. Just keeping it slower than we feel we need to so we don't make any mistakes. And round it down here a hairpin onto the back straight and we've survived another lap just one more to go 
jump into the end of the lap then and we can see e monaco leonard in first place has pitted but so does p2 the austrian in p2 so we have we've got it right then and he did have to make another stop and go onto those medium tires so let's see as we around turn one where he comes out we should have a nice comfortable gap over him as the little what's the gap leader 6.7 seconds then and if we look in our rear mirror we can see we've got quite a big distance and it's a second and a half so he's also going to have cold tires for the start of this lap so we should be able to get that up to around about two seconds if we managed to get the the first part of the mountain trail right as you can see there a nice comfortable gap and once again let's just make no mistakes if we can help it and bring the car over the line for a a, a decent p2 here very very pleased with uh, with this result it's been a great race actually really really enjoyable especially coming from sit on the grid some great close racing close action and you know this race has got it all really you can have close battles you've got a difficult track to master that's very satisfying when you get it right so it's you know you're even you're always on the limit even if you're in clear air and we've got lots of different strategy options so um yeah with the strategy it's very much down to where you end up in the traffic in regards to the traffic when you come out of the pit so we can see some of the cars that went for the two stop it hasn't paid off so they've got caught up in traffic but we can see for um, Leonard up ahead, it has worked. He's had the clear air. He's been able to pit from first early and come out in first. And he's been able to use that clear air to his advantage. So the two stop can work, but you just need to make sure that you don't put yourself in traffic by doing so. Um, so for us, fortunately, where we were in the race, the one stop worked perfectly. And we're gonna come around the final turn then in the cars theme livery, Lightning McQueen, to take P2 here at Bathurst. So, if you enjoyed that race, please give us a like and consider subscribing, it really, really helps. And yeah, hope to see you again soon for more races on GT Sport.